everyone welcome back to our articulation series this is part four if you missed part one which was bilabials or if you missed part two which was our labiodentals or if you missed part three which was our interdental sound go back and catch them okay so that you can be up to placement sounds so you can help your child or your students with their sounds okay so this week we are going to be talking about our alveolar sounds okay so mainly these sounds are going to come from the tongue behind uh, or on the gums behind the teeth so it's kind of like right in this part okay so that tongue is going to come up behind the teeth on the gums okay so can you take your tongue and stick it behind there okay so these are the sounds that you will see um, for those okay so you have your T or the T, -t, -t sound you have the D or the D, -d, -d sound you have your N, N, N sound okay you also have the S or the S sound you have the z, z sound and you have the l, l sound okay all those sounds are kind of different um, however the tongue is coming up towards the gums as you'll see in the s and the z it doesn't quite touch it but it makes the sound in that position okay so let's start with our t and d for our t we're going to go Okay, so say that with me. T -t -t. One thing that um, helps kiddos, I'll show you the trick in a minute, um, is we're working on the placement. So we want that tongue to come up. So let's try the d, 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 d. And you can see it's actually touching those gums behind the teeth. Try the t, 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 t. Okay, it's touching as well. Now, sometimes our kiddos have a problem with the t. And they may make the velar sound okay so they may instead of the t they may say k, okay we call that backing so they're coming from the back instead of from the front for the t sound right um, also for the d, d they may substitute that and make it a backing sound as well and have a g sound so instead of saying d, d, dog they're gonna say G -g gog okay so that's very common uh, a common sound or mistake or substitution that's made um, which ends up being a phonological process okay so let's practice the t t t t bring the tongue up on the gums behind the, te the teeth okay and make the t t and the d d d now if you are um, seeing that your child is unable to make the t sound, one thing you can do is make the s sound. So we want to make a s. So our teeth are not touching, our tongue is not touching all the way onto our gums. Because if we did, it would be a th, th, th. And that kind of sounds like a lisp, okay? So we're going to do a little bit, bring the tongue up. Okay, and one way to help them with the t sound is make a s t and tell them to stop real hard. So they're going to make a long s t. Okay, and that helps them make the t sound. So you may want to take your finger and go down their arm or your arm, and you can go s t and clap to make the stop or the t hard sound. Okay, so let's try it. S t. Okay. That helps. So keep practicing that. So if they're making the um, saying the word, um, let's say they want to say the word T, okay? So let's just have them go S T, okay? So start there, and as they get that sound, then you don't need to do this anymore, all right? Now, um, when they are making a S and the Z sound, as you can tell, one is voiced and one is voiceless. Remember, the voiced, it, you're going to feel the vibration in the throat. 
the voiceless U or not. So our S sound is voiceless. It's s. Okay. If they're not making it correctly, the sound you may hear it like it sounds a little gurgly on the side. So. Okay, that tells you that they're not pronouncing it correctly, okay? So they may need to bring the tongue up a little bit more and go s okay? So it's like, we call it lateralized. So it's so make, make it look like they're smiling and then make the sound. S when they do the gurgle sound, they have their tongue between their teeth, okay? We want it to come up. So we want it to be and leave some air in there. Okay. Now for the z sound, they're gonna feel like a bee with the z buzzing um, on their throat. So it's gonna be just like the same position as the s sound, but it's gonna have a voice to it. So z zoo. Okay. C zoo. Okay. Now our other sound is the n sound. So it's the n. And you can definitely tell that your tongue is touching um, the gums behind the teeth. So, no. And a lot of little kids, of course, they can come out saying, no, 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 no. So use that same position that they're telling you no uh, to make these alveolar sounds. And then you have the l, okay? A good way, of course, to make the l sound is to hold their tongue up behind those teeth on those gums so uh, 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 okay so it'd be look okay sometimes kids want to say look look mommy look daddy okay so that means they need to use the tongue and not the lips okay so when they're saying look they're using their lips but for this sound we want that tongue behind the teeth on the gums look Look, so they can just practice exercises with the tongue, moving that tongue up and down. Okay. So, so for the t, d, s, z, n, sounds, we call those alveolar sounds. All right. So one thing that you can also do to help them with the sound is maybe use like a toothbrush. To kind of stimulate or show them where to place that tongue so when they're brushing their teeth you know it feels a little funny but have them go behind those teeth onto the gums behind the teeth and they're like Ugh. and then that tongue is gonna go up there and say Ugh. and that's the way that they can feel it okay another thing is if you like I was showing before for the S sound we think of it like a snake and so a snake has is long so we want them to keep that sound from your shoulder all the way down to the end where your fingers are okay so we want them to say okay so then if they want to say a word like sack okay we want them to keep this S sound all the way and then do that so we want them to say sack, okay? S soup, soup. S some, some, okay? So have them practice so they're keeping that sound like it's a slide going down. So a s sing, right? So those are just some things to help practice those alveolar sounds, okay? Thank you for joining us again. Don't forget that you have your printables, okay? Little game, you can play with them. And this one is the roll the dice again. Um, and then it has different uh, pictures of sounds that have all the alveolar um, sounds in it. And um, don't forget to sign up, to subscribe, so you can make sure you are here for the next part of the series, which will be the last part next week. Thank you so much for joining and I hope to see you again next week. Bye.